hello everyone welcome back to the Aldrix tutorials in this video we are going to talk about a new tab that is the reporting tab in Aldrix so uh, this tab might not be by default present in your Aldrix designer view so what we are going to do is actually uh, see that how can we add the few tabs that are supported by Aldrix okay so uh, what we are going to do first of all it's just go to this uh, option this plus icon which would automatically give you an option to add or remove the tools so let's just click on that this would open up the configure tool palette that means all the tools that are actually supported by Altrex but are not being shown on your screen right now so here if you just go uh, and check there are many of the tools that are actually supported by Altrex okay so from here what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to support uh, this check on this reporting tab so this would give me a bunch of other tools that I'm gonna use uh, like email image insight interactive chart layout map legend overlay render report and table okay so let's just click on okay once we do that this is the reporting tab that would be present in front of us and these are the tools supported by the reporting tab in this video we are going to take a look at the table tool and the interactive chart tool which are of very important in this whole workflow building thing okay so first of all let's just bring up the table tool now uh, i have already used the input data tool to get my data set let us just understand the usage of the table tool as the name suggests table tool is used to create a data table or a pivot table to output the report through the render tool okay so as you can see this is the render tool if you want to output the report the render tool is what we are going to use so uh, if we just talk about this tool we first have the table mode which means you can select the basic table or the pivot table pivot table is uh, basically used when we are using the data from the cross tab tool in case you have not seen the video of the cross tab tool i would recommend you to first go and watch it and then uh, you would be able to understand it easier uh, that what i'm trying to say okay so i'm just going to go with the basic table next option we have is the group by option that means the fields through which you want to group by these um, values if there is anything so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to group by category and subcategory okay next we have is the value of a table width which is basically how you want to adjust your table so automatic that means the minimum width percentage you want a particular percentage fix you want a particular fixed value okay so i'm just gonna go with automatic right next we have is the uh, column headings if you want to show the column headings or not uh, then we have the option of a bar graph so if you want to create a bar graph just a second let me just adjust it a little bit So if you want uh, to create a bar graph, that means you can specify the data field for which the bar graph needs to be created in the table. And uh, this bar graph option is only available for the basic table. In case you have selected the pivot table over here, then this option would not be available. Now you can just click on the settings to modify the style of the graph, like its width, its scale, its base value, label bars, colors, etc. But I'm not just gonna go into very much deep into this bar graph option right now right now we are just going to focus on the table tool okay uh, next is show column headings which uh, is of course let me just uncheck this bar graph so that would be uh, available to us if you want to show the column headings then we have the per column or the methodology configuration option if the table mode is basic then we can configure the columns and if the table mode is the pivot mode then we need to configure the methodologies so in case we have selected basic mode so we are getting the option as per column configuration now we can use uh, it to select the data fields that we want to include in the table using these up and down arrows that are present over here we can just set their order uh, we can just rename these fields as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna uncheck some of these fields okay and i'm just going to go with the um, only few fields over here okay uh, category subcategory product name 
like this okay i am just uh interested in these fields only okay now if you want uh, to configure the attributes of a particular field you can just select that particular field and these attributes would be available for you if you want to get a new name for the field so instead of the consumer name i'm just going to go with the name if you want to select its width its alignment its borders prefix suffix anything you want to select you can just select uh this dec places is for the number of the decimal places so if you just select some numerical value let's say the sales value so this field would be um, enabled okay and like in the prefix i want a dollar symbol to show me that this was the dollar amount and in the end i want um, i don't want any suffix just for the prefix i want the dollar okay for the sales and that's it if you want to create some of the column rules you can just create the column rules which basically uh, says that what you want to do if you want to apply some kind of a formattings uh, for it so the sales rule one is you apply to the data when the sales is greater than equal to a $1000 you can just say the background color must be kind of like green so if the sales value is greater than a thousand dollar i want a green uh, background color okay so this is the rule that i have applied okay now next two options we have is the default table settings that means the style options uh, that we want our table to contain would be changed over here or if you want to create a rule for um, to be applied to all the columns of the data that you can apply using this create row rule option so these are the options that you can control or configure in this table tool now once you are happy with the changes that you have made you can click on run and yes so here is how the output is looking we have categorized them or we have grouped them on the basis of category and subcategory uh and this is the table uh this is the table that we have got over here just a second okay now uh if you want to get to uh, show this table how would you be able to show it so for that what we need to do is to view the individual records and see whether the changes that you have made in the table are been actually made or not we can simply use a browse tool that is present in the in out tab okay so once we have used the browse tool and run the workflow this is the kind of the output that we would be getting as you can see the number of the fields have been reduced drastically we are now only getting the fields uh, which we actually uh, modified right and if you just want to scroll up and down to get a better view that also you can get here you can see in the sales the prefix is added that is a dollar symbol and whenever the sales quantity is more than a thousand dollars we are getting the color the background color as green this was the rule that we created for this values right so you can see all these values are colored in green now so this is how the whole field uh, the whole table tool is looking now uh, let us talk about how can you actually render this table okay now here what we have done is created a copy of these uh, two things the basic table and the data uh, in order to render it we go to the reporting tab and grab the render tool the render tool is actually used to render or transform the report snippets into the presentation quality reports uh into a variety of formats now the formats supported by it are these html compressor pdf rtf word excel png image or a specific output file so from this you need to select the specific output file option in the output file you can just click on this save file and select the format in which you want to save the file i am going with the excel and here you need to type a name so let me just grab the name that is report table over here and click on save now once you do that uh, the path would be taken you can just select these different uh, options like if you want a header you want a footer for the table or not that you can just select 
ओके द पेज ऑफ द पेपर साइज द ओरिएंटेशन फॉर द रिपोर्ट एज वेल देन क्लिक ऑन रन वंस यू डू दैट द रेंडरिंग नीड्स टू बी कंप्लीटेड सो लेट्स सी व्हेन इट्स कंप्लीटेड यू कैन जस्ट गो टू दिस लोकेशन वेर यू हैव सेव द फाइल एंड यू वुड सी दैट द चेंजेस हैव बीन मेड सो हेयर इज द रिपोर्ट टेबल that we just created the excel sheet and this is how it is looking uh it has been rendered as it is we required like all the changes all the rules have been applied so that's all for the render tool and that's all for this video as well thanks for watching